a long time no see. I'm back at you with a makeup tutorial. Some of you have been asking, yeah, well, why you stopped making makeup tutorials? And no guys, I didn't stop. I have a list of tutorials I want to film. And I'm back with two drugstore tutorials. This one is going to be a drugstore daytime look that I'm gonna film nighttime look at the end of both daytime and nighttime tutorials. There is going to be a little giveaway for you guys, so make sure you stay tuned till the end of each video. If you are wondering what the heck is going on with my hair and how I achieved this look, it's just my natural hair, it's bad hair, I didn't even brush it, so that's why it's like really curly and out of control. I'm gonna give you some recommendations if you want to build a makeup kit, if you are a teenager, anywhere from... I don't know, when do you guys start wearing makeup? I started pretty late at 15, 16, but I know a daughter of our friend, she's 13, she's wearing full face of makeup. Make sure you have your notepad or notebook and uh, take notes for all of the products that I'm gonna mention. If you are a teenager, you are lucky if you don't have skin problems. Mostly teenagers do have um, acne or spots. I know I did have spots when I was a teenager. So um, instead of covering your entire face, make sure you use something light and then cover blemishes with concealer. I would recommend using tinted moisturizers for light coverage. I have this Essence Soft and Natural Makeup Long Lasting. So this is just a very natural looking tinted moisturizer. Then I have Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. This one is amazing. It's almost invisible in the skin. It looks super natural. But the thing is, is that it's a bit too dark. I have light sheer tint, but still I use it only in the summer. Then this one is Essence All About Matte Oil-Free Makeup. It's for those of you who have oily skin, because I know uh, when you have acne, your skin tends to be more oily. If you're pale like me, I would say get Gosh BB Cream in the color Ivory. It's the palest BB Cream. It looks so natural. It's amazing. If you are into foundations, but nothing too cakey, these are the drugstore foundations I would recommend. So this is L'Oreal Lumi Magique, which is, um, if you have dry skin, because it's very luminous, glowy, just beautiful, beautiful foundation. It's a bit too rosy for my skin tone. It's in rose pearl, but I still can make it work. But my current favorite has been this one, Rimmel Lasting Finish uh, Foundation in the color Ivory. Again, it looks just like your skin, feels and looks natural, and uh, the col color matches perfect for me. Now, moving on to concealer for the under eyes, I would recommend my favorite one, which you guys already know, it's L'Oreal Lumi Magique. Especially if you don't get enough of sleep, you spend your nights watching YouTube videos. This is a great one because it's really illuminating for under your eyes but I'm out of it, so I cannot really show you how it works. But recently I got this Bourjois 123 CC eye cream, which has this plasticky nib. Um, it's quite lovely as well. It's not as brightening as the L'Oreal one, but this is the one I'm gonna use today. And I'm gonna take the same stippling brush and blend it out. Okay, now for blemishes, there's only one concealer I can recommend for you guys because it's absolutely fantastic. It covers everything, redness, blemishes, spots, I mean, everything. It actually even beats MAC concealer because it's really inexpensive. It's Catrice Camouflage Cream. I have it in the color Ivory. It's a creamy concealer that looks almost invisible on the skin. So anywhere you have blemishes, this is the best thing and it's really inexpensive. Okay, continuing with the face theme, you may want to powder your face. So these are my two favorite drugstore powders. Rimmel Stay Matte, a really good mattifying powder. I have it in transparent, so it's gonna suit all skin types. Really inexpensive and really effective. But my favorite drugstore powder, which the packaging is almost exactly the same like Rimmel, is Maybelline, the Matte Maker um, mattifying powder. I have it in classic ivory. And it's just the silkiest powder ever. I use it every single day. Just powder your T-zone wherever you get oily. So this is an amazing powder. Another one I can recommend if you have redness or discoloration is this Catrice Color Correcting Mattifying Powder, which is just a really cool looking colorful powder has lots of different colors and this one is going to even out your skin color and it actually brightens your face makes it look lighter moving on to eyebrows there's really one product that i can recommend maybelline um, master shape eyebrow pencil they come with a brush on one end and the pencil on the other end 
And why I like this one so much is because it's slightly waxy. So it's gonna keep the hairs of your brows in place and you don't need to use a separate setting gel for your eyebrows. Now for eyeshadows, I have quite a few recommendations for you guys. If you love palettes, I have three different palettes to recommend to you. This is a Rimmel uh, Smoky Brun, which contains lots of beautiful neutral colors and the quality is really good as well. Another one I would recommend is by L'Oreal and I have it in beige trench. Again, you have similar colors, a pale rosy champagne color, a golden color, bronze and taupe. This one is much more shimmery though. For my American viewers, I would recommend Shimmering Sands uh, Eyeshadow Trio by CoverGirl. And you have really beautiful colors. Again, a rosy champagne color, a gorgeous, kind of taupey. This color is insanely beautiful. And then this kind of chocolate color. If you are more into single eyeshadows, I would recommend Catrice um, Velvet Matte Eyeshadows. These are perfect for if you are like 12, 13 and you don't really want to wear eyeshadow, but you want something on your eyes. This really brightens up your eyelids and it's a uh, Vanilla Fair Catrice Velvet Matte Eyeshadow and it looks like just like a vanilla color but it has a golden sheen that you cannot really notice but once it's on your eyes it really brightens your eyelids. Then if you're more into cream eyeshadows, Maybelline color tattoos, you guys know these are so popular. On and on bronze is a perfect bronzy color. Um, that's great for day or nighttime looks. And then I have pink gold, which is a beautiful kind of rose gold color. I think it's perfect for school, this one. You just apply it with your fingers, super quick and easy. The one I'm gonna use today is the Catrice one, the velvet one. So I'm gonna take a fluffy brush. At some schools, it's actually forbidden to wear makeup. And uh, if you do wear makeup, make sure it it's really natural looking and not too much because at the end of the day it's cool and you're there to study not to impress anyone but makeup is a little confidence booster I'm gonna use the Rimmel palette and I'm gonna take this color here which is very similar to the middle color of the cover girl palette so I'm gonna apply this on the outer corner of my eye I'm not sure how well you can see, but it just created a really light smoky effect. Okay, now I'm just gonna curl my lashes. If you like really bold, dramatic, voluminous lashes, these are great mascaras. They're both by Essence. This is Get Big Lashes, triple black, really intense black mascara. And this is their Volume and Curl Mascara. And it's gonna really curl your lashes. I'm a big fan of Maybelline mascaras, both Falsies and the new one. This is the Lash Sensational Lash Multiplying Mascara. This is really, really nice because it doesn't clump your lashes and it really elongates them. So these are my two Maybelline favorites. I also really like the Rocket. But the one I'm gonna use today is my new Discovery. It's by Essence and it's their Lash Princess Mascara, which has a Cobra-like um, brush. It's like so lengthening and thickening. It almost gives you a false lash effect. This one can be a little bit clumpy, so be aware of that. So my lashes are done and you can see the effect it gave you. You can layer it even further. I personally would wear less clumpy mascara and more natural looking, but because you don't have that much on the eyes and I'm not using any eyeliner, uh, this is a great mascara for giving some drama to your eyes. Now moving on to blush, Catrice does really nice blushes. You have tons of different colors. So here I have a Propose Apricot, which is a lot like uh, Orgasm by NARS. It's a peachy color with gold shimmer. But if you don't like any shimmer, I have this matte one in Mandy Rhine which is just a matte apricot color, really beautiful. Essence does these silky blushes that are so smooth and buttery. This is a silky touch blush in autumn peach. Again, a really nice peachy color. I'm a big fan of peachy shades myself. Then this is one of my all-time favorites, Rimmel Santa Rose. This, I have it in the old packaging. It just goes with everything. Such a beautiful, pale, rosy color. This is the one I'm gonna use today on an angled brush. I'm just gonna apply it on my cheeks really lightly. It goes with every single makeup look. Now, if you are a big fan of highlighter, I have something amazing to recommend to you guys. This is Essence Hidden Stories Blush and it's 
a lot like the Maybelline Bounty blushes. You remember those like kind of bounty cream to powder blushes? It's a really, really pale cool tone pink color. And it's so cool because it's like, it's really bouncy and it feels so strange. It's like cream and powder. You cannot really tell what it is. And it's actually really, really sheer and natural. It doesn't look like you have highlighter on. It just kind of makes your skin look really nice and dewy. So I really, really like this one. I'm gonna use it on my cheekbones. So you cannot really overdo with this one. And it's very, very subtle. And, oh, by the way, the color I have is Rose in Wonderland. I have tons of different lip products to recommend. Of course, every teenage girl is crazy about baby lips. So you can use baby lips for school. These are just perfect tinted lip balms. They do non-tinted ones as well. If you like glossy lips, I recommend these ones, which these are actually not by Clarins. These are by Catrice and they're like dupes for Clarins. They're almost identical. These are beautifying lip smoothers. Have it in um, sweet caramel color. And then this one is in apricot cream. They look just like Clarins ones. Um, Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Glosses are amazing, non-sticky. They smell amazing. They're just, they just look gorgeous on the lips. And then I have Essence XXXL Long Lasting Lip Glosses. And this one is in Baby Doll's Favorite, a beautiful peachy color. But this is what I'm gonna use today. This is Catrice Tinted Lip Glow. I love, love, love Dior's lip glow, but I ran out of it. And this is a perfect, inexpensive dupe. It changes color once it's on your lips. And it turns in a really beautiful pink color. So it's a balm and a color all in one. I kind of prefer this one to baby lips because I think the color is really beautiful. This is my end result. I think it's a perfect makeup for school. It's not too much. You look brighter and healthy. And now let's get on to the most exciting part, a giveaway. So I'm gonna give away this little bag filled with makeup goodies. Some of the products I actually mentioned in this video. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you what you're gonna win. So you're gonna get Essence Gel Nails at Home Primer and Cleanser. Another product is Gel Nails at Home Base and Top Coat French Peel Off Gel up to 10 days. So you can use it as a base and a top coat. The Silky Touch Blush in a peachy color. The powder that I mentioned as well. This is a tone correcting powder. I'm giving away this amazing Essence Lip Liner, which I have myself. It The color is in the nude. It's a perfect nude lip color. Perfect for every day. Another one is a black long-lasting eye pencil and it's a retractable one. Then you're gonna get the lip balm I mentioned in Sweet Caramel. Which is a really nice nude lip balm. Uh, Lash Curling Mascara. You're gonna get Pink Baby Lips in the color Pink Punch. And then you're getting two nail colors. This one is Essence Color and Go uh, Nail Polish in Juicy Love beautiful orange red color this is ombre top coat which you can use on any light nail polish to achieve an ombre effect on your nails so this is everything you're gonna get in this bag of goodies i think it's a really nice starter set if you're just starting with makeup and all you guys need to do to win this prize is like this video be subscribed to my channel uh, if you're not 18, have your parents' permission to participate in the giveaway. Uh, it's open internationally and the last thing you need to do is leave a comment on this video telling me mm, mm, what you should tell me. Tell me what videos you would like to see from me because I need some more video ideas. So let me know if you have any ideas or if you don't have any ideas, just leave a random comment telling me anything. So yeah, that's really all you need to do to win this prize. I'm gonna select one winner at random a week from now. So this giveaway is gonna be open for a week. Um, if you're confused, I'm gonna leave all the rules and all the products I've used in the info bar. So make sure to check that out. And yeah, I guess that's everything I have to say. So really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you try this makeup look and how it turned out and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Morning guys. I woke up like this. No, I didn't. So I just did my hair and